Hi everyone, I'm Tim Von Rieden here at cgcookie.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to take you through setting up the tablet. And even if you don't have the same one that I do, it's pretty much a similar process on how to set up any tablet. And I'm going to take you through setting up the buttons that are on the side of the tablet if you have that, the different clicks that your pen has and how to set those up to different features, and making sure you know where the different drivers are to work properly on your machine. So with that, let's get started. Here at CG Cookie, I use a Wacom Intuos 4 tablet, and while I was in school, I used a Bamboo Fun, and later on I bought the Wacom Intuos 3 model. And I've been asked a lot, like, which one do I prefer, which do I recommend, and really, I don't think there's that much of a difference between them. The thing that I would say you want to choose between them that actually is important is the size. Because I like working on a medium-sized tablet, and I worked on a large one for, I would say, a month or two, and I just didn't like how big it was. I found it to be a bit obnoxious because I'm my left hand's always on the keyboard and I found it to be almost a reach but some people prefer that and I've even talked to others that prefer the small small screen and it's whichever one you will feel most comfortable with but for me I choose the medium and that's the one that I would probably recommend but what I did is I brought in my Wacom Intuos 3 from my apartment and I'm gonna go ahead and install that on this uh, Mac computer that I use at work and I'm going to show you step by step how to get that one working. So if I open my system preferences, you can see on the bottom, under other, I already have my Wacom tablet set up. And that's the Intuos 4. So if I click on it, you can see on the top, it'll give you the model type. So this is the Intuos 4. Uh, you can see the two different tools that are set up with it. So it has the grip pen and the functions, which are the buttons on the side of the tablet itself. And then it shows you what applications that it works with. So normally all other will work, but for GIMP, I had to download and make sure it works correctly on that application as well. So really quickly, I'll just go through some of these different options you have here. So for the pen, the first one you see is tip feel. So soft is pretty much how much pressure you're putting on the nib of the pen and how much it'll react. So if I barely press, you can see how the current pressure is almost at full and I'm barely pressing on the tablet. And if I push hard, it goes immediately to the max. But now if I go to firm, now when I'm barely pressing, you see how there's barely any pressure that's being registered. And even when I'm pressing really hard, it takes quite a bit to get it all the way to max. And you'll kind of get used to messing with the preferences after you get comfortable using a tablet for a while. For me, I like to keep it a little more on the soft side for most everything, but then there are times that when I'm getting really detailed, I'll put it more firm. But somewhere around the middle is usually the right uh, comfortableness for when you're starting out, because you, you're not sure how much pressure you're using on your digital tablet yet, and that'll just be something you get used to later on. The double, the tip double click distance is how much you're clicking in between. So to double click on your tablet, you double click the pen on the tablet. So that's pretty much the distance between the two on if it'll double click or not. But that I just keep in the center. The tilt sensitivity, I would just recommend keeping that in the center. And that pretty much registers how much tilt you're putting on the pen when you're drawn. And here's the two things that I consider to be the most important, because your most pens for a tablet come with these two buttons that are placed right where your thumb is. And you can set up what each of those buttons functions are. So if you just click on one of them, you can see there's a bunch of different modes that you can uh, set up for the each function of the button. And I like to keep the bottom one for a pan and scroll. So what that is, is if I'm zoomed into my picture really close, what, I, what I'll do is I'll click and hold that in and I'll be able to zoom around my picture or I'll scroll around my picture without having to like press the space bar. I can just do that just with the pen um, click. And I like to keep the top click as a right click. And that's a lot of clicks, but what that means is that when I press the up click, you can see it automatically goes into what is registered as a right click on a Mac. And I find that really helpful but, I mean, this is all personal, so it could be something completely different for you that you like to have. So maybe you want the double click to be your right click. 
but for me, I like to keep it as right click. So that's something you can kind of go in and mess with and see which ones you like best. The eraser tool is pretty much the same thing. You can customize how soft or firm it is, and you can tell it to do other things, but honestly, I would just recommend keeping it as a race. So mapping. What this is, is um, keeping your tablet, the size of your tablet is that small screen right there. And you can tell it what to be registered on your actual monitor. So if you wanted it just to be on the, um, let's say your whatever you're drawing, just on that picture, you can change that so it's just on the portion. But I recommend keeping them both on full. It's helpful to have your tablet be able to use on the entire monitor and whatever's on your screen. So I would keep that the same. And for application, uh, it should work with most applications and if it doesn't, it's pretty easy to set it up. But I'm not going to get into that now. I'm just going to go into setting up my Wacom 3. So I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to plug it into the back of my Mac. So one sec. So once you plug it in, a light should turn on, letting you know that it is receiving power. And you can see the tablet app appeared in my preferences up here. And if you scroll, or if you click between the two, you can see how they have different settings and the tools are slightly different. But they really are the same. It's just they have a pictorial image that represents the actual physical properties better. It's so like these function buttons look like the function buttons on the side. And then same goes for the Intuos 4. So it looks like this tablet, because I'm using the 3 right now, it's registered properly with the screen and orientation. But most of the time when you plug in a tablet for the first time, it will often be wrong. So you might be like panning and you keep trying to get to the edge of the screen, but you have to lift up your pen and go like keep scrolling to the right. And there's a way to fix that. So what you have to do is you have to update the driver. And it's really easy. What you do is you go to whatever tablet site that you have. So for me, it's Wacom. And under support, they should have a driver's menu. So if you click it, it'll tell you why you need the most updated driver. And what's really cool about Wacom is they set it up really easy. So what you can do, just click your tablet model. So since I have an Intuos 3, I'll choose that one. And I am currently running on a Mac. So it just gives you the different drivers that you can download for uh, your system. And it's usually the one on the top is the one you want to download. It's usually the most current. So what you do it is you would download, and then you would follow the prompt messages that take you through installing it properly. And since this one is installed properly, I'm not going to click download. But that's what you would normally do if it's not working with the orientation. So I'm just going to close this out. So now, since we went through setting up the grip pen, now I'm going to go through the functions. Because the pen is the exact same as the Intuos 4. You can see how the buttons are exactly the same, it's just the pen is switched out. Which is pretty neat that they give you a representative image of the current pen that you are holding. So the side buttons are pretty important if you use them. Because in my case, I don't use them at all. I keep my left hand on the keyboard, and I'm usually going all around town on there. But for a lot of people, this is very important on what these buttons do, especially if you want like a quick Control-Z. You can just set it up as that. So to, as an example, you can see here, if you click Modifier, let's say I want a keystroke. I want Command-Z. So you just type that in, and I'll name it undo. So you can see now OK lights up. So now it'll be set to undo. And I can do that for each one. And then there's also a side scroll to the right of these buttons. And what that does, it'll zoom in and out in your picture. So that's another thing that you can play with. Oh yeah, it's called the touch strip. So that's the thing that'll zoom in and out, but that can also be changed. And you can see you can even change the speed of the scroll. But I'll just keep that at medium. And those are the different functions that you can mess with as well. 
And this is something that you kind of realize if you're more comfortable keeping your hand on the keyboard or if you like using the buttons on the side. But for me, I like using the keyboard. So the only things that matter for me when I go into the preferences are the different grip pad settings. So on the Intuos 4, I like the right click and pan. So I'm going to change that really quick. So the top one I want as the right click. And for the bottom, I would like the pan. Then you can change the speed, I like working fast. And there we go. And that's how I set up my tablet. So if you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments section. And if you're using a PC, it's relatively the same process. It's just, it'll probably be in the control panel rather than system preferences. So thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.